Folks, here we are. The start of our airsoft adventure. Carl? Yep. Start of our airsoft adventure. Here we are at camp. Here's our base camp setup. And the other teams setting up over here. There's the lodge over here. Field of plays back in the woods. All these guys just showed up. These guys are like... These Commandos are insane. And they, I hope they're on our team. So, but yeah, those guys over there. There's quite a few people that have showed up here. So this is the soccer field where everyone's camped. There's a big camp there. And we're doing the, uh, we're doing the uh, chronoing of the weapons now. <laughs> so we're doing that and uh, we're gonna go check in. Get fully camoed, we're outfitted a bit. Gotta get our weapons, and we'll be good to go. So here's the, here's the typical vehicle that we're seeing here. <laughs> and you, sir, your name? I'm Steve. From? Four, from Prescott Valley, Arizona. Nice. Call Ni signs Wolf Spain. Love you to visit www.networkairsoft.com. Nice. Look at that toy. No, 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 no. Very nice. So we're setting up over here for the chronoing. Yeah. We're going to go chrono all the weapons. Is that your weapon, Carl? Your primary weapon? Ready to go. All right. So I just had to show you this. This is another typical setup, another typical vehicle that we've seen arrive here. Check this vehicle out. The best thing about this truck is look at that. Very nice. That, as a matter of fact, looks very real. That is actually an airsoft weapon. Those are those are blanks in there. I hope. Rick, we'll see. You could cap me from We're 20 foot away with that pistol. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just chronoed this, uh, my little $50 pistol, and when the CO2 cartridge first starts out, it chronoed at like mid four, so 450, 455. And then it settles down a little bit? Yeah, it'll settle down. <laughs> That's I'll, awesome. It'll man. settle down a little bit. That's for the CQB. Okay, folks, so we are gearing up. We've chronoed the weapons, and uh, we're set to go, and this. This is one of the targets. This is the plutonium factory. So Carl and I, our primary mission is to defend the plutonium factory. We have everything set up, so we've got everyone caught in a crossfire that's going to come after this. Let's just try to show you this.
Okay, folks. Well, we have broke for lunch. There was a lot of combat. It was awesome. And I got something funny to show you guys. Last night, last night we saw a rattlesnake right by the tent. Uh, here's our tent. See this rope around the tent? <laughs> yeah, the old cowboy trick with the rope. So I was laughing about that, and the special forces guy is like, no. He goes, that's for real. He goes, a snake won't cross another snake. I'm like, okay, man, we'll try it. So. Here's our tent, and here's the rattlesnake. He's still here, he lives right here. Check it out. He is right here under this tree. See, there's our tent. Here is the snake. I obviously don't want to upset him, but there he is. I will zoom in. There he is. <laughs> I hope that comes through. So yeah, again, rattlesnake coiled and ready to strike, and our tent. This place is full of danger. I love this place. <laughs> we were at the mess hall. It's lunch. We survived, we survived till lunch. We got killed several times. How many times did you get killed? Did you get killed at all? Carl didn't get killed at all. I shot once, but then I got medic. Oh, cool. I got killed three times. So. <laughs> yeah, but it's now uh, it's now time for the mess hall. And then we're going to go out again after, after lunch. So it's a nice place there. Check it out. <laughs> what do you think, Carl? Kick ass or what? This is extreme airsoft. Mac is going for the Mac attack. Ready for yeah. it? Yeah. We got this. That's it, right? Right there. Yeah, he's up. Okay. We're under heavy fire from a massive machine gun. We are under heavy fire from a massive machine gun. These guys had that machine gun that was on the tape earlier. That thing is right out there. About 30 yards out there in a tower. We cannot get in there. It's ridiculous. They can see us. They just got us scattered in the woods here. This is for team. All right, Carl, we're going to flank left again. Okay, hold on. Okay, folks, as you can see, I've got this red on my head, which means I've been shot. And if nobody gets to me in five minutes, I'm dead. They're out there. I was camped out right behind that, and I finally got sniped from over there. There's the enemy tower right there that we were after. Medic! Nobody's coming for me. There's the enemy tower right there, heavily fortified. I was right in there. We had him pinned down. I'm going to have to go back and respawn. Respawning. That was our sniper. That was our sniper just over to my left. It's going a nice hit. The rain has finally stopped. We're still trying for that damn machine gun post. Die, you commie scum, die! Not there another day, we still have our night match. That's right. So what do you think, Kyle? It was a full day. Man, that was the most epic airsoft, you know, thing ever. It rained a while. It started God, storming it was rain. Pouring. I was completely soaked. I was covered in mud <laughs> and fired at by that damn machine gun that was on that tower. God. And then I had to crawl through the mud to avoid all these shots flying over my head. <laughs> this is so fun. That was awesome. <laughs> It was awesome, man. That was great. So, Carl, we did it. 
So guess who are not noobs anymore? No more uh, noobs. Yeah, and I got some great footage, Carl. Good. <laughs> Ready, Carl, for the night ops? Ready. Okay, we did not split, I told you. <laughs> right. Yeah, thanks. I was filming. You guys just caught on, on, re on uh, rescue. A rescue <laughs> by my comrade in arms here. So we're back at a respawn point now. So now we can get back in. So stay here five minutes. No, I, I pulled you out to medic you. Cool. So, so we're good to go. I'm going to go soon. All right. You're hit. Here I come. Did you get the talk for you? I went to the Veterans Helping Veterans Breakfast there in Fort Lewis. So met a lot of the guys. Hope to do something for our local vets next year. The guys that are on the on TV were the American Legion under the war program. So that was it, folks. We did it. We got lunch now. We got a presentation by the Medal of Honor winner, right? This guy, this guy behind us won the Medal of Honor for killing God knows how many people in the world. Yeah, on his own with a machine gun. That guy in the white shirt is wearing his medal. So it's an honor to see him.